Jesse Waters and Kellyanne Conway on December 16. Screenshot Fox News The impeachometer is a wildly subjective and speculative daily estimate of the likelihood that Donald Trump leaves office before his term ends, whether by being impeached and convicted or by resigning under threat of same. The right-wing campaign to convince Donald Trump to fire Robert Mueller, though so far unsuccessful, may be coalescing around a signature theme that the existence of the special counsel's Russia probe constitutes a coup against the executive branch. Here's Fox News' Jesse Waters on Saturday we may have proof the investigation was weaponized to destroy Trump's presidency for partisan political purposes and disenfranchise millions of American voters. If that's true, we have a coup on our hands in America. And here's Texas Rep. Louis Gomez in a recent radio appearance, Rosenstein, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein Mueller stacked the deck. It was intentional in order to cover for him and Rosenstein. Both of them need to go. We've got to stop the coup before it becomes successful and these yahoos throw us into a civil war. The evidence for the coup theory is that several of the prosecutors working for Mueller have donated to Democrats. An FBI agent who no longer works on the case sent disparaging texts about then-candidate Trump to another agent in 2016. That's it. On the other hand, the evidence against the coup theory is that a coup is the extra-legal overthrow of a ruling regime by hostile actors. Robert Mueller, a registered Republican, was appointed through a legal process by Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, who was himself appointed by Trump and who is, according to those who know him, also a Republican. The FBI agents who texted mockingly about Trump also exchanged disparaging messages about Democratic Attorney General Eric Holder, Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders and Chelsea Clinton, in the event that Mueller uncovers or, granting Gomez a, al their premise, contrives enough dirt on Trump that he gets impeached, he will not be convicted and removed from office without the votes of at least 13 Republican senators, and that's assuming a best-case scenario for Democrats in 2018 elections, the person who would replace Trump is president if he's ousted by all the Republicans listed above his hardline conservative Republican Mike Pence, Donald Trump's running mate. In other words, if this is a coup, it is going to be the most pointless coup in the history of human political relations. Today's meter is unchanged. You depend on Slate for sharp, distinctive coverage of the latest developments in politics and culture. Now we need to ask for your support. Our work is more urgent than ever and is reaching more readers, but online advertising revenues don't fully cover our costs, and we don't have print subscribers to help keep us afloat. So we need your help. If you think Slate's work matters, become a Slate Plus member. You'll get exclusive member only content and a suite of great benefits, and you'll help secure Slate's future. Join Slate Plus.